Hello and thank you for joining me again on Run Level Zero. Today we're discussing Makulu Linux XFCE Build 5. If you've followed my channel for any length of time, you probably already know what a big fan I am of Makulu Linux. In my opinion, this is really Linux for the users. The developers at Makulu do an excellent job at, of listening to and responding to their users' input and what their users really would like to see in the, in the Makulu Linux distribution. The developers at Makulu, Jacques has a really clear idea of where he wants Makulu to go and he just is very responsive to his users and that, that has so impressed me that that I've never seen a distribution that takes those those types of steps, those types of measures to implement what their users want into the distribution and to do it so quickly. So what's new in Makulu Linux 5? Well Makulu Linux, if you're not familiar, is a Debian base is based on Debian testing. It's a rolling release distribution, which means once you install it the first time, you should never really have to reinstall it. You you should always, by virtue of accepting the regular updates, you should never have to reinstall the system. You always have the latest, greatest version. It is available only in 32-bit at this time. And with Build 5, we're seeing a lot of new implementations. Most notably, in my opinion, is the implementation of the Makulu Linux software repository. Now, Makulu Linux 5, as with the other versions of Makulu Linux, is built around the same excellent set of applications, the, the same excellent software choices. And these include some uh, features that are really not common to other Linux distributions. Uh, for example, uh, Sunflower File Manager is installed, which I've really come to like the Sunflower File Manager. We're not going to go over all the uh, applications that are installed, but I uh, just want to hit, hit on a few highlights here. Uh, Sunflower is a great file manager, especially if you're trying to handle uh, a large number of files at one time, moving stuff around, renaming stuff. Sunflower is a great one. Uh, another thing you're going to find here you don't see uh, too often is the Kingsoft Office Suite, which is fully compatible with Microsoft Office. So, yeah, it, it, it has a great core set of applications. What has changed? Well, a few software changes have been cha have been uh, implemented. The GIMP has been removed and been replaced by MyPaint 1.1. The GIMP is a uh, it's a full featured graphics design suite, and it may is is com is you can really compare it with something like Photoshop. For the average user, well, the average user really needs something that robust. Uh, probably not. My Paint is going to do everything that you need it to do. So, and GIMP is still available in the repository. So, if you need it you can install it. Uh, Wine has been upgraded to from 1.4.1 to 1.6. Uh, the ticker has been removed. In previous versions of Makulu, there was a scrolling ticker bringing you a news feed of the latest Makulu news. That has been removed. And I'll go over here in just a moment of how, how you're getting your updates. Uh, Mint Stick and the XFCE theme manager have also both been removed. The new software brings with it a lot of innovative changes to the Makulu Linux line, stuff that we haven't seen in Makulu before. Uh, most notably, Compass and Emerald. You're compositing and uh, window management right now, and, and your, your themes are all being handled by Compass and Emerald. If, if you're newer to Linux, if you're not familiar with Linux, Compass is really the mainstay of how you're going to enable a lot of flashy graphical effects, a lot of vi uh, visual effects in uh, a Linux distribution. Uh, for example, you have the ever popular desktop cube. Shiny. Shiny and nice. There we go. Lots of great transparencies. The wobbly windows, a lot of good uh, visual effects being implemented here. 
So, yeah, I really like to see that. This is a lot of spit and polish that has been added on top of what was already a great Linux distribution. You know, I, I, I'm not going to hide it. I have been a big fan of Makulu ever since their inception, and to see it taken to a new level, this is version 4, you can really say that that was building a foundation, a rock-solid foundation for Makulu. Now with version 5, we're seeing a lot of polish being added to that. So that's really neat. Uh, Emerald, this thing ships with a ton of themes. Now in order to uh, change your themes now, and he's already, Jacques has already included on, on the Whisker menu here, a couple of shortcuts for where you're going to do your theming. You're going to Appearance, and you're going to go to the Emerald Theme Manager. This is where you're going to change your look and feel. Like right now, it's it's set on dark black. Let's uh, let's try Sabian. So when we click it, you can see our window decorations up here change. Nice. Now, if you want to change the layout or or the the feel and appearance of the actual window itself, let's see what Minty V2 looks like. There we go. So you really have two areas. The emerald is going to change more the appearance of the window borders and the appearance menu is going to change the actual color and, and layout of the uh, of the window proper. So let's go back over here. I kind of like the way it looked by default. And there we go. So let's close that up. More to come on that in just a minute. Cool. Okay, so uh, what else do we have? Screenlets has been installed, as well as Ice Weasel, and he says a lot of uh, Makulu specific packages. The installer has also been addressed. There were a lot of users that complained about the Makulu Linux installer. It was text based and uh, really needed some, some tweaks and some work there. Well, they, they did a great job with the installer. When you run this in the live version, there is a shortcut on the desktop to a YouTube page, a video that, that walks you through the installation process. Now, the installer is in a GUI now, but I do recommend, especially if you're a newer user, I recommend that you follow along with that video installation process, uh, just at least for the first time to get you through installing Makulu. There are a lot of options there and to really take advantage of those to avoid some confusion I, I really support you using that video. Okay moving along. One of the things I said one of the major uh, implementations in Makulu Linux 5 is the fact that they have their own repositories. While I, I like seeing innovative software like the Kingsoft Office Suite uh, made available in a distribution, one of the issues that you run into is updating that software because it's not readily available in the base systems repositories. For example, uh, Makulu is built on Debian. You're not going to find Kingsoft in the Debian repositories. So what happens when that ver your current version becomes depreciated and you need updates? you're not going to get those updates through the repo. You'll have to go out and either manually update it or install a newer version of Makulu. By virtue of Makulu having their own repositories now, Jacques can really bring you those updates with no problems. So you're not going to have an issue now with keeping this uh, Sunflower or Makulu up to date. It's It's really going to not be an issue anymore. Furthermore, he can now bring you uh, even more newer software and just push those updates to you through the repositories through the regular update cycle. Uh, <clears throat> with those updates, with the repositories, you're also going to be able to, to receive new themes. I mean, folks, remember, we just looked at this, but let me pull it back up again. Emerald here there are a ton of themes already installed and each one of these themes is fully customizable 
for example, if you go into the, we're, we're on the dark black now, if you go into edit theme, you can you can make this thing look like anything you want to. Emerald is, is a very robust system themer. Uh, but there, there are a ton of them in here. And what you're going to see when you go through your updates, see I have updates waiting now. Uh, let's pull this open and see if there's anything in there. That's uh, going to take a minute. I just updated it last night. There are more coming in. But through this update manager, you're going to see uh, Makulu Jacques can really push to you uh, even new themes and, and new icon packs. And I saw that come in when I did the updates last night. Speaking of updates, since the release of the installation uh, DVD, there have been several major updates that came out. So just a note, when you install Makulu to your hard drive or into a virtual box, the first thing you want to do is run the update manager. Before you even launch a web browser, before you start looking around, go ahead and open up your uh, your update manager. It's down here in the taskbar, and apply all the updates. It's, there, there are several important fixes that are going to come with that. And I noticed last night there was a new theme that came. This is also how Jacques is going to bring to you important updates. You're going to find that new uh, files start appearing on your desktop. This is going to happen with the update manager. For example, here are some important news releases that came with the last update. Open it up here and show it to you. So, there we go. He walks you through how, how, to, how to fix a couple of issues, um, how to set up virtual desktops, and we'll show you that here in just a minute. Uh, there is a new Makulu newsletter. This is replacing the ticker that was on the top of the screen. There's also a, a survey out there. Uh, they're doing a survey to, to try to just get some customer feedback and see what you think of Makulu, what you think of the installer, and that sort of thing. It doesn't take long to do the survey, and I would encourage you to do that, as well as there's an introductory video to Makulu. The desktop layout is still the same standard uh, traditional desktop layout. Uh, the wallpaper, this nice clock, and the, uh, the, the inspirational quotes are brought to you. Uh, let's pull it open here. There we go. They're brought to you variety of, uh, they're, they're brought to you courtesy of variety. When you want to change your desktop, when you want to change your wallpaper, this is the place to go. Uh, variety is more than just a wallpaper changer. This is going to handle your entire look and feel of the desktop. Uh, you can implement some effects. This is where you can turn on and off the, the random wise quotes. Uh, you can turn on and off the clock here. Uh, you can change the color and size. I mean, there's, there's lots of stuff that you can tweak here. And it's, it's fully customizable. So yeah, get in there and play with variety. I think you're going to like that. Another implementation, in addition to their excellent whisker menu, Makulu Linux 5 also comes with the Slingshot menu. It's down in the lower right-hand corner. And Slingshot is a, is a pretty fun uh, menu system. It's still categorized. In the upper left-hand corner, you can see your categories. So you can hit Accessories, Games, Graphics, or All and launch your applications from here. Applications, if you have more than one page, will be down at the bottom. So yeah, it's just another menu option. If you like Slingshot, if you find you prefer Slingshot, you can just simply move it over, you know, or keep them both. It's just another option for you. A very important update that came with that first up, uh, when you first install and you run your updates for the first time, uh, prior to that, there is no uh, launcher in the menu for your uh, Compass configurations. So when you run your updates for the first time, you're going to get Compass Manager added. This is where you're going to control your graphical effects. If you're not familiar with Linux, if you're not familiar with Compass, this is where you're going to control all this eye candy. One of the first things you're going to want to do if you want to get that nice uh, desktop cube effect 
by default this only has the one desktop so you're going to have to uh, enable more desktops and that's very easy we're going to go into general options desktop size and this slider uh, horizontal virtual size this is where you're going to be able to add more desktops so if I take it up to six now you see I have six desktops so you're not just limited to four desktops so that's pretty cool all right Makulu Linux XFCE5 what do I think of it this is an awesome distribution for the new Linux user we're not going to go through all of the all the applications is yeah we, we went over the the major changes that have had that have gone into it you know you still have play on Linux you still have steam installed for those of you who like to uh, like to get your game on you know graphics the GIMP being replaced by my paint the average user you know my paints gonna do everything that you need it to do um, a note about the the applications here you do have ice weasel Chromium is the default web browser. If you are running this in a virtual machine, you see that you have another launcher, Chromium 4 Virtual Box. This is the one that you want to use if you're running this in a virtual. In fact, I would go so far as to say replace it. You can uh, replace this launcher. Go ahead and remove it because that launches the standard Chromium. If you, if you launch the standard Chromium browser in a virtual box, it will freeze the machine. For my virtual box users out there, this is very important to distinguish between these two. Uh, you want to use the Chromium 4 virtual box. If you use the standard launcher, it will freeze your system. So yeah, just make that distinction, make that note. Well, that's really about it, folks. I'm really impressed by Build 5 of Makulu Linux XFCE. It takes the already great work that has been Makulu Linux XFCE 4 and just adds this new layer of functionality this new this new polish on top of it uh, by implementing compass and emerald you're taking what was already a great system and making it a beautiful system one that uh, that you can really yeah, you know, be proud of. I mean, I think that that Jacques has done some excellent work here, and uh, download it, give it a try. Let me know what you think. Well, thank you for joining me again today. I hope to be with you soon for another video.